still cried when I read it, though it was his master's will. I will read it once again, pretty soon it will be done. My heart bleeds as I'm reading his last words. Dear little mother, forgive me, honey, for starting out like this, but I just got your letter and the little picture of our first baby, and I couldn't resist calling you little mother. Be sure to take his picture every week and send it to me. I want to watch him grow. Show him my picture and say, this is your daddy, and when I come home, he'll know who I am. And if I don't come home, I want him to know why. Things are pretty rough here in Vietnam. It's much worse than I ever thought it would be, but I'm glad to be doing my part the best I can. Freedom wouldn't mean much to me if I wasn't concerned about freedom for all who wanted to be free. We are located in a valley just below Sniper's Hill. That's what we call it, for if we as much as show the top of our head, a sniper's bullet will whiz by. We're waiting now for reinforcements so we can blast them off that hill. It's all we can do. They've got us pinned down here so we can't move. We can't retreat nor advance, and already they've killed or wounded several of my buddies. And believe me, honey, it's hell to be so helpless, unable to go to a buddy crying for help. But that's what war is, and I'm sure there are some fighting on the other side that feels the same way I do. The only difference is I know what I'm fighting for, and they don't. If anything happens to me before I can send this letter, I'm sure someone will see that you get it. And if the worst should come, I want you to know my last thoughts were of you and my son, whom I'll never see. Be sure to tell him when he's old enough that he can hold his head high and be proud, for his daddy died fighting for his country and his loved ones. And when his daddy marched, he marched with men who stood proud and tall, not in protest, but in humility, regretting that they have but one life to give. And when you say your prayers tonight, honey, as I know you always do, include every man, woman, and child in this war-torn country, and especially for all who may find their last resting place here, at the foot of Sniper's Hill, somewhere in Vietnam. There'll be peace in the valley at the foot of Sniper's